The history of horror film music. Well, I think to start talking about that, you have to go back to the history of film. And uh, early films did have horror subjects. So if we go back to 1890 in Europe, around France, uh, you have lots of different artists um, running around. And, and one particular artist, uh, George Melies, who was an illusionist. And as an illusionist, he put on magic shows. One of the early experiences he had was the Lumel brothers brought over a um, projector camera. And he uh, wanted one, made an offer, and they said no. So he built one himself. Yeah, Mr. Melaise was quite uh, the innovator. And he created not only cameras, um, or I should say a camera, he created the beginnings of special effects. So things like jump cuts and the dissolve. Um, a character would just dissolve into nothing. And all of this was quite magical to him. He probably did uh, upwards, there's a guess, of three to 400 films or more. Most of these are pretty short films, and it was for his theater to enhance his magic and illusion show. One of the very first films he did was The Manor of the Devil, and that was in 1896. There was no music the, to report of. If there was anything, there would be someone at a piano or organ, uh, and that pretty much was how films were dealt with when it comes to music up until basically the late 20s. Um, music pretty much was... Uh, it could be an orchestra, but it would be performed in front of the film. And so none of this uh, really is scoring. It, it's just kind of playing music in front of the film. And a lot of times it was classical music. Um, often it wasn't uh, anything original. It was just something that they would use. One of the other early films was by the Edison Studio, and it was Frankenstein in 1910. And... Uh, for that, you know, they, there comes in something called a photo playbook. Uh, it was a book of music, uh, mostly classical, but then there'd be some pop mu popular music of the day, and it would be kind of organized by mood, so they could quickly perform and improvise these different moods on the organ or the piano. Um, and that's pretty much how they did this in the early days. One of the earlier uh, horror movies, The Cabinet of Dr. Calgari, did get some music by Giuseppe Becca. And again, it was an orchestra performed in front of the screen. And, um, you know, Becca was known for being a conductor of Wagner's music and doing arrangements, so basically that's what he did for that film. Uh, a couple of the other important horror movies that come along, uh, The Golem, 1920, and this is during the silent film era. Um, talkies were starting to come in, but it took a little time. Uh, there was Nosferatu in 1922 with a score by Hans Erdemann. Nineteen twenty-three, we got *The Hunchback of Notre Dame*. Uh, no music there. Um, *Phantom of the Opera* in nineteen twenty-five, and uh, you know, then comes a very important film that isn't a horror film called *The Jazz Singer*, and it's the first time music is sunk to a film, and it's the end of the silent era. This is nineteen twenty-seven. Now we're ushering in the sync sound film of the 30s and what dominated this era was Universal's gothic horror cycle of Dracula Frankenstein, the mummy um, all of these kind of things we were pretty much with Boris Korloff and Bela Lugosi this is what dominated the monster movies of the early 30s um, again, no scores are written for these films they use classical music Let's take a look at this example. Here's an example from Dracula from 1931 with Bela Lugosi. This is the opening sequence. And you're going to hear a particular classical piece of music.
Now, let's also take a look at The Mummy with Boris Karloff from 1932, a year later. And you're going to hear this same piece of classical music, Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. So there you go. Um, there was one kind of an exception here. In, uh, 1931, uh, the year the Dracula came out, the, um, Frankenstein was put out, and a composer named Bernard Kuhn, that's K-A-U-N, did write an overture. So that's cool. Um, we're kind of getting now original music overtures. <laughs> But 1933 is when things suddenly changed, and that came with a composer named Max Steiner. Max Steiner was asked to score the film King Kong. Or actually, what the studio said is, why don't we use some library music from our music from our library? And Steiner's response is, how many movies have you had music to that features an, uh, a 10-foot ape? So basically, it was the first score that was written to a film for the film and sunk to the film. So this is a very important thing, and he basically is the father of film music, really. He's the one that we are all born from. It is the beginning of horror music. It is the beginning of film music uh, used in films. I mean, that, that Max Steiner, he is the one. Uh, 1935 came another interesting horror film, The Bride of Frankenstein by Franz Waxman. Let's take a listen to this. And there you have it. That's where I'm going to stop this video. Uh, I will continue with the history of horror film music in my next video. Make sure to like this video if you like it, and subscribe below, and come back next week for the next installment. See you then. <laughs>